I think it was psychological. Like the talent is there. The talent has always been there. I think the talent was forgotten a little bit when people were making the comparison between Georgia and Alabama, because Alabama might even be the more talented team. It was always a psychological factor of how do they get motivated to win and just how do they respond to things going wrong in the game? Because it's easy to forget that they were down 10 nothing, and they kind of faced that situation. I forget if it was second or third down when, um, when Jameson Williams had the big catch, the first one. I think it was second down, but they faced a situation there where the game could have gone the other direction. And just psychologically, I think they, they have sort of that factor where they don't count themselves out. They don't quit. Like that's worth something. Um, and I think it's, it's certainly worth something when you're going into a team like Georgia that never really faced that situation this year. But beyond that, I think it's also a season where Nick Saban's had to really kind of inject or insert some confidence into them um, just in general to sort of get to that point where they can still believe in themselves. And that's kind of been his playbook all year, even when, you know, they played LSU close and they played Arkansas close and and some of the other games, it's always been a very positive spin from Saban, which historically I think, you know, it surprised some people because that's not, not always the way he approaches things, but I think he really, knows that the best card to play with this team is to kind of pump them up and build them up and and make sure that they believe in themselves more than trying to tear them down and saying, yeah, you just, you just won the game, but you didn't play well. That that's, that's kind of been his theme all year. And I think it's kind of verified itself at this point that that was the right way to, to handle it.